I wonder what's on it too. Huh. <laughs> Zombies. Come on. Zombies again. All these headshots. Everybody running and shooting, shooting things in the head on the run. <laughs> Maybe I ought to train with these guys. I don't even know if that's possible. <sighs> I guess it's time to go find out. Get some! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, and after a good 10 hour with work day, I like to relax a little bit. That's one thing about being a citizen of this great country of ours. It takes about 10 hours worth the, worth the work a day to pay your taxes. So, so there you are, you're home, you want to put the TV on, put the news, see what's, what's going on current. And, uh, and what you find is the, the, the different Ebola viruses, all the strife in the world, the civil wars, all the terrorism. So you want to look at something a little bit more lighthearted, so you want to put on the local soap opera zombie soap opera of some sort and there you are it's a lot more relaxing than watching the news and uh, part of being a citizen of this country is that uh, a free man can have firearms so there you are you're watching your soap opera and next thing you know you become a part of it solve the problem ah! Let's go take a look at him. Where'd we go? Ah, we zip right through him. An eye shot. Right through the eye. As you can see, guys, we got smoldering zombies, we got leaking zombies. So all in all, pretty good day on the range. Got him a little bit in the eye socket, but you know, first time with a crossbow. So there you have it, guys. A good day on the range. What else can you ask for? On the TV show, The Walking Dead, all these guys are making these fantastic headshots. So we have a lot of inquiries about is it actually possible to do these headshots and from different scenarios and different positions on the move and such. So we kind of picked up the firearms that they use and do the same thing. We have a uh, Steyr AUG and I think the gentleman who shoots that in the TV series is a fellow by the name, uh, they, the, oh, they call him the governor. So we use the AUG on that aspect on the first segment here when we shot through the clays. So we tried to shoot these guys on the move, trying to simulate, you know, a headshot. So it's very visual when you break a clay target. So we could actually engage these on the move. So we shot these pretty good. And these exploders back here, when I went to engage them with the AUG, they were so bright, every time I'd shoot one, it was like a flash bulb would go off. And I had to wait, as you can see, a few seconds before I could shoot the next shot. So that was pretty exciting here, not to pick your head up and actually watch what was going on, but very bright to the, to the user. And here we have a Mosberg 500 pump gun. I think everyone in the show shoots a pump gun somewhere and then they use Mosberg. So anyway, it's probably the most produced shotgun in the world. And over here, 
we had our katana placed on the table and I think her name is her name is Michonne who uses the katana and we had it placed here so what we wanted to do is simulate a little slice and dice action here so we grabbed the katana went through it and of course when our victim was on the ground we had to do the the final insult and give him another jab just to have a little bit of excitement there watermelon went good we had the Colt Python six inch nickel and the gentleman I think in the in the show his name is name is Rick he uses the Python with 357 Magnum ammunition so that's what we had here we head shoot we had to head shoot the one on the right and the one on the left and what we tried to do is actually shoot the one in the in the middle on the run here to, to show you that it's actually possible to shoot on the run and hit something I went back to my training and I forgot I was shooting zombies so when I actually ran across I just went ahead and shot him in the heart twice thinking it was uh, a regular target I forgot I actually had to shoot him in the head but I actually got two two heart shots on him while I was running and I'll take that any day with an unfamiliar gun the cylinder rotates backwards for some reason I don't know why but anyway we shot the python out six rounds placed it here and we grabbed up our crossbow and the gentleman that, sh that shoots this in the show is by the name of Daryl. So Daryl uses a crossbow. This is a uh, Barnett crossbow. And uh, shot that last zombie right in the face from about five yards. So that gives you an idea of some of the equipment and which, what's actually possible to do with it with, with live ammunition. The whole purpose of the video, guys, was to see if you could shoot a zombie in the head, just like you see on a TV show. So we had to choose all the different platforms that they used on their TV show. We had a Colt Python, we had an AUG, we had a crossbow, we had a katana. So to give you an idea, we just kind of go through the different, different weapons and uh, actually apply it to the targets. And you can see, with a little bit of training, it's actually possible. Uh, is, it, is it repeatable under stress? I don't know, they weren't attacking me. I was kind of attacking them. So it was kind of a fun scenario, but I'd like to uh, thank the guys who provided the uh, Colt Python for me. Mr. Piccaro at Intrico Arms was kind enough to send me that nickel python. And also Cheaper Than Dirt helped us provide the AUG and also helped, uh, helped us with the high speed footage there that you see that we used in the program. So that was very kind of them. Also guys, coming this spring, you can actually see the making of this video on our new reality series, Shootout Lane. So it's pretty exciting. We've got a new reality show coming out. We're doing these YouTube videos. So a lot of good stuff is coming down on Shootout Lane. So I appreciate it if you just stay tuned.